Good morning, Business 1360, Section 1H1, I think I should uh, add, perhaps, in this 2018 fall semester. Um, I've received an email wondering uh, kind of what's due this week, what exactly are we supposed to do, so I wanted to make sure um, that we're all on the same page. We did talk about this the first day of class. At the end of class, I was reminding you of this. And our, our class this past week should have really helped you get started on this. But I just want to make sure that we're real clear on what we're supposed to do. So that's the purpose of this video. Uh, the Let's see, the first thing I want to do, let me see, let's go over here, is remind you of this printable schedule that you received. Now, this was our last class meeting, and we didn't get to swap and have other students uh, do things because we took a little extra time setting up the um, the files on our flash drives, creating our folders. I think that'll get easier with each subsequent class. But I wanted to point out down here at the bottom that your homework that's due this coming September 11th includes our Word Case 1 in PAUSE. It also includes the training simulator in My IT, and this is for Word 2, in other words, looking forward to the next chapter, which you will also be reading in preparation for the quiz. So this schedule is going to keep you on track because remember when you come into class on the 12th, you're going to start with that pause quiz just as soon as it becomes available. So you want to get to class on time, uh, log in to pause, you know, basically be sitting on go waiting for that quiz to open so that you can get in there and complete it. So um, anyway, but what I really wanted to talk about in this video is our word case one in pause. So here I am in pause and where I've gone is into our class in pause and then I went to assessment and then assignments. And you may remember this from our last class meeting because what we did in our last class meeting we created a folder, we saved these two files into the folder, we also renamed them according to what the book wanted us to do. And we just made sure that we had some of the concepts as we started through some of the instructions in the chapter. And possibly what is confusing is that if I stop to talk or explain or demonstrate, we may not have been exactly 100% step by step, but you have the book and that's the significance of your homework assignment. Here is Word Case 1. And so what it says here is pause and ebook. And, and really what I'm hinting at here and if you look at your syllabus, it will also give you those details. So we can't ignore that syllabus. Um, you know, there's a de it's not just the points in the syllabus, it's the detailed explanation. But again, as we talked about in class at, at the end, as I reminded you, and again on that first day, you're going to use pause as well as your ebook. How am I going to use pause? I'm going to save those files. You might want to start from the beginning so that you can make sure that you followed all the instructions uh, precisely. Now I did add some information, especially because this is our first case, to guide you a little bit. And I did that as a result of the email. And so I do listen to you and I hope that you find this helpful. Um, go ahead and, you know, if you're in pause, you can click on this word case one. And now you'll see the instructions that I've added. There was a request for more specific information about the page number. But as you're going to see, uh, there's an easy way to get to those page numbers. So you know, take a moment, especially if you're a little lost, and make sure that you're reading through those instructions uh, so that you'll know how to turn this file in correctly. Now, I'm going to get you started here, and let's pretend we've already saved the files to our desktop and we've used our correct name. Over here, I've already logged into my IT lab. Hopefully, you're familiar with that. And remember that if you click on the link to Course Materials, and always be patient with this, if you recall. It takes a, just a little bit to load. And everything is organized for you within the folders. So I am going to go into Workshop 1, but as a reminder, 
oops, let's see, I'm sorry, as a reminder, here's our reminder. Remember we're working on the word simulators and reading, so looking ahead, here's workshop two, I'm going to expand that, and there's that simulator that I need to be working on, and there's a link to the e-text so I can read my book, right? I'm going to go back to my courses, or to my course, I'm sorry, because I need to complete the Word Case 1. So here's Word Workshop 1. I'm going to expand that folder. So My IT Lab, Course Materials, and that's the simulator that you completed last week. And I'm going to click on my book. We have this pop-up. If you are getting error messages, if you're not seeing this, it's probably because pop-ups are blocked on your computer depending on the browser that you're using the way that your computer tells you that pop-ups are blocked may be different typically what you can do is look in this address bar if you don't see this this window that popped up look in this address bar for something red a red flag a red dot a red something and when you click on that sometimes a red X will be over here if you click on that you will get a menu that says you know, it gives you choices, enable pop-ups, and you can click that and that should take you right in. Okay, we've enabled that and sometimes you have to do it more than once. It's kind of something you have to keep remembering throughout the semester, but I'm going to go ahead and click on the e-text to further open it. Again, kind of be patient because it does take just a little bit to load here. Here we go. Do -do, there it comes okay and so as you can see and and again I you know I hear you and and you wanted uh, more information about the page numbers and so I did try to provide uh, that and a little bit more guidance on that so no problem um, oh, I'm sorry here's my e-text and we are on page 126 of the e-text and as you read through it gives you a little background that hopefully you read last week in preparation for the quiz because just like you're going to read chapter two this week word uh, workshop two so these are the files that you've already saved to your computer and it says you'll save your files as and hopefully you did that now if there's an extra file you're going to create it's going to tell you step by step you don't have to guess between here and here because the book is going to tell you uh, exactly what to do so I'm going to advance to the next page and there's reading there. I'm going to advance to the next page because, again, that's something we covered before. And here's where you begin the step-by-step -step instructions. And if you have difficulty, you know, they, they give you pictures. They're really guiding you well, I think. I, I love this book. I think it's a really great resource because, you know, First of all, I think the, the reading and the pictures is, is pretty clear, but sometimes it is, oops, I'm sorry, it's difficult to, um, maybe because of the way they phrase something or you're not familiar with that particular term for word, you know, what is this navigation pane? What is this uh, certain thing? What is this ribbon that they're referring to? I don't, maybe you don't know, you know, what is this ribbon? These are, are terms that are, that you'll learn as part of the software. If that's the case, you can click on this button right here and that's going to play a video that demonstrates these exact steps and all you have to do is follow along. So you'll complete those steps and then you go to the next page and you know again there's going to be some reading mixed in which you've uh, hopefully done in preparation of that quiz. So there, you know there's the reading for best practices and then there's also the step-by-step. So I'm going through and I'm looking, where's my next step? And I just go through. So especially if the pages, if it, if you felt like, gosh, that's a lot of pages. We have to do so much. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. We're going through to page 164. You know, notice that some of this is explanation and the pictures do take up a lot of space, but they really are trying to demonstrate, you know, things to you. And so, you know, you're going to go through. Let me go all the way through to page 164. 
and that's where you're going to get to the end. Now, let me um, tell you this. Whenever they ask you to actually print out a page, I don't need you to print the page. So uh, you don't need to bring me papers in class. All you need to do um, is submit the completed files into PAUSE. When you're all the way through to the end, submit the completed uh, files into the PAUSE Dropbox, right? So, you know, again, preview, print a document. It's showing you how to do each one of these things, and you're just following along with these steps, and at any time, if you're confused about what they're asking you to do, see, it's even telling you, this is how you save it, this is how you create this PDF, check this box, right? So it's really very well-guided instructions that's gonna walk you through those steps in the book. And of course, in our class, I'm trying to give you some depth and also talk, we, you know, we're a hybrid class and with 90 minutes, we're gonna talk about some concepts, but we can't get through everything. But, the, you know, again, this book is such a great resource because it's gonna show you uh, what you need to do. So I hope that helps. And um, if not, you can email me questions and I will be glad to answer. Um, Okay, so again, you know, I hope that helps, and I, I'm sorry I didn't have those um, instructions in pause to begin with, but um, now that they're there, uh, it, it'll be a little bit more helpful. Thank you so much, folks. Have a great weekend, but make sure you get lots of work done in preparation for Wednesday. Thank